This is the second in a series exploring how we move into the next phase of the pandemic into long-term management. Hi, I'm Dr. Abe, Associate Professor in the School of Nursing at Western University, and here on What the Health, I want to make your healthcare questions clearer. So in this section of videos, I'm moving on to long-term management of COVID-19, or learning to live with it, or, or whatever you want to call it. In this video, I'm going to look at whether hospitals alone can save us. And so if I look back to when I began teaching health systems in the School of Nursing at Western in 2012, it was always obvious to me that Canada was really low on hospital beds. It's one of those charts that once you see it, you, you don't tend to really forget it. And partially because we have this idea of Canada as like the best healthcare system in the world. Uh, and, you know, <laughs> pro tip, we actually tend to land like around 10th. Uh, on most global comparators, but we think of ourselves as the best and so we see how low we are on, on beds, it really jumps out to us. And of course there's degrees of nuance in here where, you know, where healthcare occurs matters and so there's value for sure in like providing as much care at home as possible for certain individuals and prioritizing long-term care stays versus hospitalization. But really, even after you control for all of those factors, it's just really hard to deny that Canada's health system is not low on beds. And it's been driven by this efficiency narrative for so long where we've just squeezed acute care down to being very under-resourced. So absolutely, Canada needs more acute care and critical care hospital beds and the nurses and physicians and other health care workers required to make them run. I have no disagreement with that point. Agree, 100%. We need more beds. And this pandemic, I think, has just helped everyone else realize what many of us were already saying. So yeah, let's bo boost capacity in the health system, for sure. So here's the limitation, though. That limitation is that no amount of health care capacity solves a pandemic that has exponential growth and spread. So just increasing hospitals with no public health protections puts us into, and, and I hate to use this term because it, it's crass, but essentially a meat grinder scenario, like in places like Florida, where hospitals provide a lot of space for a lot of people to die. And that's the thing about communicable diseases, right, is that prevention is the most important step. Intervention is needed where prevention fails. So not having enough intervention, for sure, is a problem for us. But building all the hospitals in the world wouldn't have avoided the lockdowns or other public health measures that we've had to take along the way. It just shifts like maybe a couple days uh, of when we have to close and a couple days of when we can reopen. It changes the denominator, but it doesn't change the, the reality of, of the situation of a pandemic. So this is really important because COVID minimizers have been latching onto like any possible solution that doesn't involve them having to change anything in their lives. And so Canada's overwhelmed health system has become the latest focus for them to say, well, you know, if we just had more ICU beds, then we wouldn't have had to shut down. And you know, unfortunately, that's just patently wrong. We would still have had to have the same closures in the same waves, just you know, we maybe could have shifted them by a few days if we had more space for more people to get sick. But hospitals aren't the solution because in Canada, we still try to prevent preventable deaths. That's the value that underpins much of our approach. And so having hospital beds to put people in isn't the issue. The issue is preventing people from getting sick in, in the first place. So in conclusion, yeah, absolutely, Canada needs more hospital beds, but no, that alone doesn't save us from the impacts of the pandemic. And so in the next video, I'm going to explore whether now is the right time to move into this management phase.